All athletes have dreams. Most work hard to reach them. Some just work too hard. I actually have been training all year for the Mr. Panama City Contest. So I put a lot of hard work and effort into it all year long. They had a contest up in Tallahassee. I said, well, let me go up there and just uh, get some practice in, get some kinks worked out of my routine. Uh, somehow I ended up winning that. And uh, because I won that and it was a level three contest, I can't do the Mr. Panama City now because it's a lower level contest. For a year, Rich Branham dreamt of being Mr. Panama City, but winning his first ever competition is forcing him instead to take on a greater challenge, the Southern USA's. Uh, it's a bit bigger contest. I wasn't expecting to compete at that high level this early in the game. And it's only my second contest. With all the weighty presses, you'd probably think coming to the gym is tough for Rich, but this is the easy part. It's what he doesn't do that's difficult. And uh, I can't wait really to get back eating pizza and donuts again, to be honest with you. A physique like this doesn't come from lifting alone, but also from a very strict diet. Right now I have to eat seven times a day. The only thing I'm eating right now is fish, oatmeal, and eggs. And it's been like that for the last two months. Uh, you know, all low fat, high protein. After Saturday's contest, Rich is certain to get what he wants, if not on stage, at least at the dinner table. Jake Bell. News Channel 7 Sports. The conference play still looms on the horizon for Gulf Coast, and that's going to be the true test of how good this team is. But for now, eight straight wins has been evidence enough. Now they're going for number nine against Three Rivers, and that's a team that matched up very well with the Doors, as evidenced by back-and-forth play. Jed Bedford led Gulf Coast in scoring. That's two of his 24 with a jumper at the top of the key, but it didn't take long for the Raiders to answer right back. Maxi Stamps breaking out, and that's going to be two on the other side. Commodores, however, respond even quicker than that. Trent Eager gets back and throws it down. The Three Rivers Gulf Coast would stay close all night, trading leads late, but in the end, the Raiders break the streak, winning 98-95. to Gulf Coast will play Delgado tomorrow at 7.30, to wrap up out of conference play. Now another big tournament is being held just a little further down 98 at Bay High. Mosley coach Reggie Landers getting fired up at the refs, but it was Bobby Collins who caught fire for Chipley. That, there's a three, worked, so let's feed him again. And okay, he's got two straight. This is what we are gonna call a heat check and see if we can make it official. Yes, Bobby Collins has the hot hand and Chipley used that hot hand to torch the Dolphins by 14. They will advance to the ch championship game of the tournament to play. Well, actually, I'll, I'll tell you in a second. I don't want to get ahead of myself. First, let's look over at the consolation bracket where Rutherford beat Appalach. They'll play PC Christian at 4.30 tomorrow. And thanks to some algebraic figuring, no one w at the game was sure what the final was, but they knew Arnold lost by two. So if Marlins' score is represented by the variable X, the Crusaders scored X plus two, which I believe is also Y. Yeah. As for the final game of the evening, anyone planning to get Bay coach Rob Williams a Christmas present but not sure what he needs, may I suggest a watch? The Tornadoes game was scheduled for 7.30, but it was 8.20 before they took the floor, which is, well, to be expected because their name is on the floor. They're the only legitimate home team at the tournament, and they're wearing road jerseys. Don't try to make any sense of it. Just watch Tony Healum pour two of his 11 points in. At the other end of the floor, Sneed's leading scorer, Montario Bennett, battling and high arcing. Fadeaway was just like he planned it. And I told you, Helam had 11. He would have had 13 if he hadn't missed, but lucky Nathan Blong was there to make the save, get it to Andre Reed for jumper in the paint. Bay wins 72-50.